Hi everybody! Happy Halloween! I love to make Halloween costumes. Today we are going to replicate two fashion icons. One is Daphne Guinness, the heir to the Guinness brand. She is very well known for wearing the McQueen armadillo shoes and having her trademark platinum blonde and black hair. As well, we are going to play my fashion superhero, Edna Mode. This costume was easy for me. I basically am going to grow up to be Edna Mode. I think. I hope. So I'm at Toronto. It's happening November 9th and 10th and I was wondering if any of you guys in Toronto would be there. I won't be there November 9th because it's my birthday but November 10th I will be there with my friend the shop cart girl. She just started her own YouTube channel so I'd love it for you guys to subscribe to her. I go to school with her. If you guys have time stop by my Facebook or Instagram at look under here and let me know if any of you guys are coming to IMAX as well. I'd love to hear what your Halloween costume ideas are. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will talk to you later. Bye! No kiss! For Edna Mode, the only thing I purchased were fake bangs from Pacific Mall for $7. I sectioned my hair down the middle and pulled it back loosely. You can get fake fringes with more hair clips to be sturdier, but one worked well for me. Snap it in place and brush it in to blend your hair. To make a full bob, tie your hair into a really low loose bun, or for a shorter hair, a ponytail would work. Then roll the bun towards your head and pin it into place. I use screw pins to hold all the excess hair together, and for any of my strays, I just use bobby pins. This was so weird for me because I felt like I was two again. I snapped off the lenses of a pair of old sunglasses for Edna spectacles. These are very important for the costume because it just defines her entire look. For the costume itself, it's really super easy and all black outfit. Edna wears flats but I chose to wear heels instead. She has a pink v-neck trim on her outfits, so I just wrapped a pink cummerbund around like a scarf. Daphne's hair starts with sectioning the top off and twisting your bottom half into a French twist. If you're like me and you have no coordination with hair, just tell them that the messy look is intentional. Release the rest of your hair and part the very top area of your hair. Then, if you're like me, you have to spray your hair with hairspray before you can tease it. And just tease and tease that area. Moving forward, you can either decide to be snooky or continue with the tutorial. I used dry shampoo to whiten my hair and brushed it lightly back, filling in any areas I might have brushed off the dry shampoo. Then taking the back sections of your hair, spray it down with dry shampoo as well. Once you're done, 
pull all of your hair back, making sure each section is clearly defined, and tuck the rest of your hair into the French twist. Again, I, I have to emphasize the intentional messiness. Daphne's makeup look is simply a really dark extended eyebrow and a smoky eye, of which I smudged only one shade of dark eyeshadow out, a testament of my makeup skills, and winged it out with liquid eyeliner. She has intensely contoured cheekbones and finishes off her entire look with a nude lip. Costume wise, all you need to do is bust out the craziest thing you have. Minimalism is your enemy. Throw on your entire closet if you have to. All of these looks I had handy in my closet and I finally made use of this caged tube top from ASOS. Mm -hmm. 